Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, Antonelli here. Today, we're talking about free tickets to Major League games. Like, I keep getting asked all the time, do I get to go to Major League games for free? So I'm going to talk about that. I'm also going to talk a little bit about what it's like as a player, as a Major League player. Do you get free tickets to pass out to all your friends and family um, for free? So we're going to talk about all of that stuff right now. Okay, let's start first off, because this is a question I get asked over and over again. Uh, people think that I have, like... Like, I don't know if you guys know this yet, but, um, you know, nobody knows who I am. So I get asked a lot, like, oh, you played in the major leagues. Can you go to any major league park for free? Can you just walk in? Do you have, like, a special card um, that you just show them? And they're like, oh, yes, Mr. Antonelli, come right this way. Sit right behind the, the dugout. Or you want to go in the dugout? You can go in the dugout if you want. Do you want to pitch today? Uh, but none of that stuff is true. So I, I can't go to major league games for free. Um, I, I wish I could, but um, they don't do that. If they did that then uh, I would say most games are, would just have like a bunch of ex-guys that play like a little bit of Major League time. Because I, I mean, I'd go to, I'd just spend every day going to Red Sox games and Major League games if uh, if that was the case. Like even in San Diego where I played, you know, I, I played in the Major Leagues there and I was with the organization for five years. Like if I ever showed up, they'd be like, who the hell are you? And I if, even if I said like, oh, I played for the team, they, they, I don't even know if they could, they probably wouldn't even, they definitely wouldn't believe me. Um, and if they looked it up, they'd be like, dude, you're here for like six minutes. Get the hell out of here. Um, so I can't go to major league games for free. Okay. Now what I do get every now and then, and I still don't even know what this is. I get a call about once a year from the, uh, I don't even know who it's from. If it's the players, it's not the players association of a major league alumni uh, association of uh, something or other. I don't know. I get a call and they're usually like, Hey Matt, are you going to be in? And then they name a city. So they'll be like, oh, are you going to be in the Denver, Colorado area on July 14th through 16th? And like every year I get that. It's a different city, different time of year. And I'm usually like, no, I'm, I'm uh, not going to be there. I'm going to be in Boston where, where I live. And they're like, oh, because we have a, an alumni something or other. And um, from what I gather, it sounds like I could go to the games for free if I wanted to. Now, it wouldn't really be for free because I'd have to pay for a plane flight out to Colorado or wherever the game is at and then the hotels and everything. So it wouldn't really be worth it. Um, but apparently there are certain games each year that I could go to for free. At least that's kind of what it sounds like. And I've never really looked into it super far uh, very much because, you know, I'm not going to do it. Now, if it ever if they ever call me and they're like, hey, are you going to be in the Boston area? When they do that, I'll probably be in like Georgia for a tournament or something. But if I was here, I would definitely take them up on it and see, you know, do I get free tickets or what is this? Because that would be really cool. Um, but that's all I get. I don't get anything else for being a major league player. And again, I was a major league player for a very, very short amount of time. But a lot of people think that just because I played a little bit, I can go to games for free. I can't go to games for free, okay? Um, although I wish I could. Okay, now let's go back to when I played, all right? So when I played, let's just talk about major league time, okay? Because when you're in the minor leagues, like... Uh, spring training, anyone can come for free because the game's on a backfield. And like in the minor leagues, when you're playing at home, like you just have a little sheet that you sign. Like, oh, there's your name, Matt Antonelli. You put like, okay, my dad Jack's gonna be here, and I need, you know, my sister, blah blah. blah. And you just put the people that are there, and then they come in for free. You don't have to pay for them or anything. You get like a certain amount of spots. And if you uh, if you fill up all your spots, then you just ask your buddy. Yeah, hey, you got anyone in town? They say like, nope. And you go, okay, I'm going to take your spots and I'm going to put more people down. Okay, so minor leagues are super, super, super easy because none of the games ever get really sold out. But in the major leagues, obviously they do. And so how does that work for tickets? So two things, one in spring training. And again, let me preface it with this. This is the way it was when I played. My last year playing uh, baseball was 2013. So it was six years ago. I have no idea. It's probably way, way different now. So sometimes I do these and people are like, no, you're wrong. That's not how it's done. Well, this is how it was done when I played. I don't know. I haven't played in a while, so I don't know what it's like right now. But when I played in spring training, if you wanted tickets, you actually had to pay for them, okay? But spring training tickets were not very expensive when I played. I don't know. I think it was like 20 bucks a C or something like that. It might not even been that much. I'm sure it's a lot more now. But there was a little computer in our clubhouse, a little laptop. And so I'd go in and let's just say I had like my family coming in. I would just sit down and I would put my name in and I have like a little password and it'll pop up and then I would click how many tickets I want. It would say like, oh, four tickets. Yep. Boom. Press it. And I would get billed for it. Okay. And it'd be like, I don't know, 70 bucks or something, 80 bucks for four tickets. And it doesn't really matter. 
in big league spring training, you're getting a decent amount of mail money. You're not getting paid. You don't get paid during spring training. That's something that a lot of people don't realize. So you don't get paid until the season starts, but you get meal money. You get big league meal money, which is a lot of money in uh, spring training. I think it was like a hundred bucks a day or something like that. And so to pay for a couple of tickets here and there are, you know, really no big deal. And if you're in big league spring training, then you're probably at a high level in the minor leagues, which again, I guess doesn't really matter because if you're a young player, you're still probably making only $2,300 a month in AAA. But most of those players are either major league players or, you know, later in my career when I got caught to the 40 man and then I signed one year free agent deals. You know, I was typically making anywhere from like eighty to a hundred thousand dollars a year playing minor league ball, and so eighty bucks is not that big of a deal in spring training to buy tickets. Okay, so that's how spring training tickets work. Now let's go to the major leagues. In the major leagues, um, when you get tickets, I think I got four tickets a game. My wife keeps telling me I got six tickets a game but I think it was four tickets a game, but it's either four or six, okay? So let's just say that. If you want more tickets than that, then you gotta go ask your buddies. So usually I would ask like my friends, like Wade LeBlanc or um, I don't know, Will Venable or you know maybe Chase Headley or, uh, I mean, there was a lot of guys of my age that were up um, with the Padres with me. And so if I filled all my slots, I would just say like, hey guys, do you have anyone in town? Can I borrow your tickets? Okay, so similar to what you do in the minor leagues, but the only difference is in the major leagues, you don't have to buy the ticket, and I'm not an accountant, and I don't really know exactly how this all works, but basically you're taxed for whatever the price of the ticket is. I think it just gets add on, added on to your, your whatever you make for your income, and then you're gonna get taxed on it, okay? I believe that is how it works, all right? So you're not paying, that's the face value, you're just getting taxed on it. Um, and so, to give you an idea, you know, I, I bought a lot of tickets when I made my Major League debut, and when, and when I played a, that first month in the Major Leagues, a lot of people wanted to come watch me play. And so I bought, I didn't buy a lot of tickets, but I got a lot of tickets and had a probably, I ended up probably spending like a couple thousand dollars on tickets. Um, most people don't realize this. I think most people think that players get tickets for free, but they don't. And so when I made my debut in LA, like my parents came out and, and um, you know, my wife came out, and I would say pretty much every series I played at, like somebody was there that I knew. Uh, but the big series was when we came on a west or from west coast to east coast. We played against the Nationals in D.C. And I'm from Boston, so a lot of people drove down to watch me play in D.C. And so my family came out. A lot of my wife's family came out. A lot of my friends came out. Their families came out. And so before you know, you're buying like 20, 25, 30 tickets a game. And, you know, you're playing in like a four game set. So let's just say you're buying like, I don't know, 100 to 120 tickets and you're, pe and you're getting taxed on that. And so it ends up being a decent amount of money. Now, for most major league guys, they don't really care. For me, I was making, uh, I was making major league minimum, which at the time was about 400 or so thousand. But you're, again, I was only up for a, a month that year. And so I think I got paid, I think it was like 65,000 or so, somewhere around there for the month. And so you get paid, you know, 65,000 or so and you're spending 2,000 on tickets, it's not really a big deal. Um, you know, but if I continue to do that for most of the year, I mean, you could spend a lot of money on tickets, um, especially if you play a lot of games close to your home. Now, being in San Diego, my home's in Boston, like not a lot of people are coming out to San Diego, but again, on those East Coast trips, when I started to play a little bit more towards the Northeast, more and more people were, were coming to those games. So, um, that's kind of how the tickets worked. Again, getting tickets sometimes can be tough because when I when I played in DC, I needed a lot of tickets. And uh, so I'd ask my buddies and stuff. But sometimes guys have people in town and, and it's always a little bit awkward when you have to try to go to like a more veteran player. You always start with asking your buddies and then if you don't have enough tickets, you gotta start going to other guys in the clubhouse, especially when you just got called up. I hadn't been up a whole long a very long time and so now I've got to ask some veteran guys like hey can I uh, can I borrow a couple of your tickets it's a little awkward but um I think most veteran guys I guess get it and uh good news is I got all my tickets and was able to get you know friends and family to the game so um 
That's how tickets work. I don't think I missed anything. We got spring training. We got regular season. We got how nobody lets me come to games for free now. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of how everything works. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Check out all our other videos. I've made thousands of them covering all aspects of baseball. So go and check those out. And we'll talk to you later.